Hey guys, how are you all doing today? I'm super excited to be back in my kitchen filming video tutorial for you all. So on this video today, I will be showing you how I make this yummy looking jello fries. So before I start, I'm going to introduce you to my ingredients. I have about two cups of rice here. Here is my tatashe or paprika or sweet red pepper, tomatoes, chicken, onions, red onions and white onions, chopped carrots, peas. Sweet corn, tomato paste, thyme, season crayfish, nutmeg, seasoning cube, bell leaf and salt, curry powder, and my vegetable oil. So I'm just going to place my chicken into my pot and adding my onions I also add my salt seasoning cube thyme seasoning bay leaf Curry, then stir it together. So cover it and cook for 15 minutes. While my chicken is cooking, so I just blended my tomatoes and everything together. So I'm going to allow it to dry. For the water to get away so in here i'm going to fry my meat now so my meat is ready so i'm just going to add hot water into my rice just to wash it and if you are washing your rice you still need to add salt as well cover it for five minutes before washing the rice so here is my tomatoes my tomatoes is already dry there is no water on it anymore so i'm going to start by preparing my stew now So I just added my onions in here. Sorry guys, I did not show you where I added my onions. So I'm just giving a quick stir. So I'm going to add my tomato paste. So stir it together. So you can see how it's looking now. So I'm adding my fresh tomatoes, which I already parboiled earlier. So stir it together. So cover it and allow it to go for 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, this is how it's looking. Stir it very well and cover it again. Now open it and stir it again. So I'm going to add my crayfish. If you are making jollof rice, please add crayfish on it. Here is my Mangi, which is seasoning cube, my thyme, curry powder, 
season salt so stir it together stir it very well so I'm going to add my nutmeg now I'm using fresh nutmeg if you have already branded one you can also use it so stir it together so in here I'm adding my chicken sauce so I'm still going to stir it together so after that I'm going to cover it to let it cook about five minutes so here is the five minutes now so I'm going to stir it together so after that I'm going to add my rice which is the main thing hmm guys the aroma is tormenting seriously I wish you guys are here with me to perceive what I'm feeling here right now you know So I'm going to add water into it. You know, jollof rice doesn't need too much water. So it's the heat that will generate from it that will cook the rice, you know. So, but if it needs more water, you can add it me time to time, you know. Then I'm adding foil paper to cover it just to generate the heat so it is the heat that will cook the rice not water too much water is not good if you are cooking your jollof rice wow look at this guys hmm? look at it You know, if you are cooking jollof rice, you need the bone of it, you know, you want it to get bone so that you will feed the real jollof rice from it, you know. It's that bone that you need in a jollof rice, you know. So I'm going to add my carrot. So after adding my carrots, I'm going to add my pigs. And also add my sweet corn which I also show you earlier so I'm going to stir everything together so after that I'm going to allow it to cook for five minutes and after that our jello rice is ready So guys, here is the final stage. Look at that look. Look at it. Look at the way it's looking yummy. So if you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up because that thumbs up is really giving me, you know, power to do more, you know. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. See you all in my next video. Bye-bye.